Good afternoon <laughs> and welcome back to the farm. Hope you're having a good time. I am. And yeah, I was right about, you know, this caterpillar bale. I had to remove the plastic and then I can just pick them up with this one. I think I have 25 of these bales so I can just not pick up all of them. But I can pick up most of them. Uh, I sold the bales I had on my um, pickupper, baler pickup, or bale trailer. Um, so then I had like four full stacks of other bales to sell. Um, but I think that after I sell this one, I will do the canola stuff. Um, so I will sell the canola and then uh, buy the grain, uh, oil mill and then we'll see how that will turn out. We'll see how many cycles per uh, month and things like that. It's gonna be good, I think. So, as we are waiting for me to finish off this stuff, let me just remind you of the poll that I have on my webpage, sorry, on my YouTube channel. I don't know why I keep saying webpage. Uh, it's morning when I'm recording anyway. So, uh, this is the last week. The, the poll will end on Friday the 28th of January. So, if you haven't cast your vote yet, please do. There are five options. Currently, option number one is in the lead. Uh, which is more and bigger fields so which is something I need to do even if if any of the others take the lead I will still need to do you know bigger and more fields um, so option number two more animal husbandry I have chickens I have sheep I have bees there are cows pigs and horses left to add to the farm if so be it uh, they all have their benefits but one thing that um, also is needed is that they also have, um, you know, to be self-sufficient as a farmer, I will probably need to, or I will definitely need to get more fields to be able to feed them what they need to be fed. But I wouldn't necessarily need to buy more fertilizer because um, some of the animals will produce that the, the cows along with milk would produce manure I think and so would uh, pigs so that's an option moving forward uh, option number three is logging and tree nursery basically I plant a tree or plant trees, wait for them to grow up, then I cut them down, cut them into size um, of logs and then sell that and then rinse and repeat. Or I sell it as wood chips. Um, I could sell it to a uh, carpentry or carpenter and have that been turned into furniture, I guess. Which there is a huge profit in that. In, in furniture making so that is also an option um, moving forward is um, more greenhouses that's option number four um, the six greenhouses I have roughly a hundred thousand in profit per year um, adding six more selling the same things like I'm doing now like lettuce and tomatoes only don't go for the strawberries only reason I would go for strawberries would probably be if I'm getting the bakery and want to bake cakes. I think strawberries are needed there. Or the cornflakes factory, maybe. That could be an option as well. Uh, and then the final and fifth option is uh, production chains. I already have some of them. Or I mean one. And I'm buying the second one today. So... Um, that's an option as well, but the production chain option is more about making sure I get all the production chains and all the steps for that. Ooh, these are nice. Big bales, big money. 
106. Oh, 465, sorry. Now we've got 446. That's a good, good chunk of change. Oh, I haven't checked out the market yet. Ooh, what the hell is this? Tractor are required to pull trailers and tools. Is this a tractor? It's a Raptor. Just look, the bales are just multiplying in here. I don't know how. This looks awesome. <laughs> don't know what to use it for. It's not the strongest thing that I have around. And and it, it seems like it's more of a uh, forestry kind of equipment. You know, with the big Caterpillar wheels... Um, the protective cabin and everything like that won't be getting that though this one I don't own one like this 12 meters wide to yeah that could be an option but not really <clears throat> so let's keep on going let's get back to the farm and sell the canola I don't know if the price is great, the bestest. Um, I don't think it is. Um, the best price for canola is probably not the oil mill, but I will sell it there anyway because fun reasons. Well, not really fun reasons, but because. I'm gonna buy the oil mill. It's a sign there. Look out for the signs. And I will just drop this off here, get the trailer loaded up in canola and head all. So dump you. And as we load up on the canola we can check the price. I think I have like 96,000, I think I have like 96,000 liters of canola. So that's like three trips with this trailer here, which is not bad. Getting into position here. Ninety-four thousand. That's good. And how much was it sell for? Let's see. Canola. There we go. <laughs> Two thousand at the oil mill. It's basically the worst price. But I need it. I I, I accept that price. At the oil mill, and you know, ninety thousand at two thousand per liters, it's still one hundred eighty thousand. So I mean, it's not bad money. Could be worse. Could be better. But yeah, this is what it is. Sometimes you have to compromise if you want to take a business or do certain business deals and all that. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So I haven't really sold anything to this oil mill before, so it's going to be interesting. Not quite sure how to get in there. Let's do the external view. You have to turn here. I do know that between me dumping this now and dumping the final load and before I purchase it from I guess that spot they're gonna use up some of the canola it's okay I'm still gonna do profits on this how much do I get for a full load of canola oil or canola seeds canola thingies Seventy-five thousand. 
I take it. It's almost enough to buy the mill route right out outright with that money. Not quite, but close enough. And if you look at the the canola, it sells for two thousand. Canola oil sells for five six at this time, which is the best price. Or yeah, so profit about I don't know two hundred fifty percent more. Is that how you calculate? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it all depends on how much it costs to produce it as well. I mean, the manufacturing cost of the plant is also important. But I believe this is going to be a good step moving forward. There we go. Then we have one more load to pick up and then we check out how things are progressing. I will also repay my loan with the profits I make. I will do that first. With the profit I make today, I will repay the loan after I buy the oil mill. Um, after that, I will buy the crone mower. After that, I will buy the corn and sunflower heather for my class combine. Then, if there's any money left, I will buy fields, maybe, or save it. Speaking of fields and buying stuff, yeah, I did check out the market. But there wasn't really anything of interest there. There was a confusing item, which I think is useful if you go for forestry. So another 75,000. How much do we have left of the canola? 22,308. Yeah, it's not bad. So this another 75 will net me 150. Oh, slightly lower price. It's okay. I can live with that. There we go. I'm also thinking of maybe this tractor has been with me for a long time, but it seems to be um, well worn out. I need to go in and repair it very often. This is the, the workhouse on the farm. It's the most powerful tractor that I have, and it does most of the work. The, the New Holland that I'm using is basically to mow the grass and to um, what's the other thing it does uh, fertilize fields don't really use it for much else the one over there don't remember the name on that brand is is mostly for pallet fork work and the other stuff what's the name of that one it's a medium tractor it's a dude's far yeah but this one i've had around for 73 months this one i only had for seven months and this for 114 months i have that for long or what it used i don't remember but yeah so this is the workhorse this tractor here it's the most powerful i have i don't really want to get rid of it unless i can replace it with something that is bigger and more powerful because don't want to go down in, in power if, if you can avoid it. 
so that's good. Um, but then again, you know, I already have it. If I buy a new one, I have to spend more than I get for this one. So I think maybe I just keep it. I don't really want to replace the other two because the the one that cuts the grass. Well, if I get the dedicated mower, I don't need to do that, but it still has the, the tiny wheels or the narrow wheels on it. So uh, I use that to you know, fertilize the fields if need to. Speaking of, I need to buy a other thing as well. See if we can afford it this month. It's, it's a sprayer, spreader of... Um, Um, lime and such. Okay, I cannot turn off the engine on the tractor when this one is being emptied out, which is okay. Looking good on the money front here. Now I could. Let's buy this. Yes. And now we look at the production chain. Where is it? It's at the bottom. Canola oil, almost have a full load. So 4,800 cycles a month. And it costs 60. Uh, it's running, yeah. And then, yeah, we're gonna store all this stuff. We're not gonna get rid of it. That's good. So let's just quickly do a uh, 4800 let's say it uses up so it uses up 9600 so this is like 10 months worth of canola which is not bad because um, in March I will plant sunflower so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I will plant the canola. I missed the canola's planting, which is a shame. Well, I did that, but yeah. So, hoping that will work out great. So, purchases. Well, first and foremost, pay back the loan. We bought the farm, so we have 105,000. Yeah, we pay that. There we go. Debt free, pretty much. Now back to selling the silage. Um, what I said about you know needing to purchase a bigger um, lime and fertilizer truck is because liming a field takes up a lot of lime and even if you load the one I have at the moment it holds 3600 I had to lime field 30 but since I combined field 30 and 31 I decided why not lime both because you know then it don't gonna it's gonna require a new limes uh, coat or lime layer at the same time on that combined field as you can see but I had to refill it like halfway through or so because it just chews up so much lime and it's a bit of a hassle to do that oh no this one is on the wrong place now it's okay I'll just drop it here um, so what I'm thinking of is buying um, it's, it's not going to take away from the work but I'm thinking of buying this one it can hold 10,000 liters so I don't need to refill it as often uh, it has the same spread as the small one that I have I own this one already but it only has 3200 liters so this one yeah three times this much which is better 
still need to refill it, but again, like I said, not as much, and it's it's not that expensive. I don't think I need to worry about any fields at the moment because I just um, lime that one and a bit on field 39 as was requested, and that's it. Or should I get like a dedicated lime truck instead of implements that I pull behind? Is is that an option? What is it called? Is it called crop protection? So this is yeah, it's not those. What is it then? That's the mower that I want, 380. It's not on sale yet, but I will get it at full price if I have to. Um, so we have small, medium, large trucks, harvester, forage, harvesters, forestry, oil, love, grape, cotton, sugarcane, beet, potato, animal, crop protection, mowers. So there isn't one that is a dedicated um, This one can... What is this? This machine collects material from the ground and tips them into trailers. Okay, so... Well, not a dedicated one. Which is okay. Don't need to. So yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing. Selling all of this. Spending the money on the crone first and foremost. And then the fields or the yeah stuff. It's gonna be interesting. I think. Um, so this is December. What can I sell in January? Um, I could sell 100,000 of that if I need to. But I could sell all my barley as well. I could sell the oats now, but I don't need to. I feel like I have enough money as it is. January, I could sell the sorghum, don't want to. Corn I will sell in June. Um, straw I will sell again in December. Um, fabric no. Honey in February. Lettuce and tomatoes in January. Yeah. So that's good. I will um, be making money in the first half of the year and then I will spend it as soon as I get it probably. But it's all good. Anyway, um, no need to keep you guys around. You see what I'm doing. You see what I will be doing. I will update you on the next episode on how things went here. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And um, I hope to see you in the next episode. Also, do check out my poll. Until next time. Take care, have fun, and enjoy days. Bye-bye.